Welcome back! The first point release for Soren OS 17 was recently published. This video looks at all the improvements and new features. My name is Michael and I have been using Linux for over 20 years. And now let's get started. A small transparency note. Soren OS Technology Limited provides press representatives, testers, blockers and YouTubers the pro version free of charge in advance. These are intended precisely for such test reports and are provided free of charge. This test is therefore completely free and is based to 100% on my personal judgment. After just over two months since its release, Soren OS 17 has been downloaded over half a million times. More than 78% of these downloads came from Windows and macOS according to the company. This motivates the Soren OS developers and reflects their mission to bring the power of Linux to every new user and expand the community for the benefit of all. Soren OS 71, like Soren OS 17, is based on Ubuntu 2204 LTS, but the developers have incorporated newer packages in many places, such as newer versions of GNOME Shell than in Ubuntu 2204. The Soren OS distribution has its roots in Ireland and was created by Artyom Sorin, who is also the namesake and founder. The distribution is developed and published by Soren OS Technologies Limited. The first version of Soren OS was released in 2009 and since then it has proven to be a reliable and established solution. If you would like a more comprehensive overview of Soren OS, I recommend my video on Soren OS 17 because in this video we focus more on what the first point release brings. Due to its basis on Ubuntu LTS, Soren OS is an LTS distribution with a fixed versioning. Only 64-bit hardware architecture is supported. The package format used is the Debian package, which is managed via APT as package manager. Beyond that, there are Flatpak containers and Snap containers available. Soren OS represents itself as a specialized Linux desktop distribution that is particularly geared towards user friendliness for newcomers. Installation is simple and daily operation requires only minimal intervention. The need to enter commands in the terminal is extremely rare. This clearly emphasizes the consistent focus on ease of use as most potential users considering switching are not experts in using the terminal. This shows a clear focus that is being successfully implemented. Apart from the target group of switchers and newcomers, Soren OS proves to be an extremely stable version with low maintenance requirements. Reliably in operation goes hand in hand with easy of use, making Soren OS a reliable choice even for experienced users that work efficiently and without complications. What's new? Improved Windows App Support. One of the outstanding improvements is the extended support for Windows apps. Thanks to improved Windows app support, it is now even easier to run popular Windows applications and games in Soren OS. Customize alternatives for more Windows apps. With over 100 supported apps, Soren OS offers customized recommendations for alternative Linux versions of popular Windows applications. For example, launching the Windows installers for apps such as Opera Browser or Todoist should result in the installation routine hardly differs visually from the Linux apps from the software store. Now with Wine 9. Another notable new feature is the integration of Wine 9.0, the latest version of the compatibility layer for Windows software. This means improved support for an even wider range of Windows software under Soren OS 17.1. Now contains bottles. When Windows app support is enabled in Soren OS 17.1, it is now bundled with bottles. This tool allows Windows software to run in a compartmentalized environment and provides a convenient way to organize apps and games. Bottles comes with an integrated app store that installs and pre-configures a growing selection of Windows apps for further improved compatibility with the system. Educational edition now available. In addition to the improvements for general users, the Soren team has also introduced the educational version of Soren OS. This version combines the latest improvements of Soren OS with educational software that supports learning in preschools, primary schools and secondary schools. 
refreshed apps. In general, apps such as LibreOffice has been included in the latest version. In order to guarantee this goal on an ongoing basis, Soren OS also supports the Debian package, Flatpak containers and as well Snap containers. Minor improvements. There are various corrections and improvements. One of these is, for example, the download of Windows installers are now displayed with a thumbnail icon of the respective app as far as possible. For example, the download of Todoist installer should not be displayed with the square red icon as before, but with the app icon of Todoist. Newer kernel. The delivered kernel is the backported HWE kernel from Ubuntu 23.10, which is offered by Ubuntu 22.04.4. This includes the improvements of kernel 6.5, including drivers for Sorin OS 17.1. I've covered everything you need to know about getting started, for instance, downloading and installing Sorin OS 17 in the video on Sorin OS 17. To keep it short, at this point, I refer you to this video. Link is in the description below. Let's check the system measurements. The Pro version uses 6.9 GB of the hard disk by default. The memory requirements is a considerable 2.1 GB in idle mode. The number of pre-installed packages is 2313 Debian packages. The number of installed Flatpak containers is 80. Snap packages are not pre-installed. In terms of disk space requirements and memory consumption, I have noticed improvements compared to OS 17. At that time, the values were 11.2 GB disk space requirements and 3.3 GB memory consumption. On the other hand, the number of pre-installed Debian packages has increased as it was 2041 in OS 17, which should be bearable considering that you now have more disk space free. At the time of creating this video, GNOME Shell 43.9 is offered. As mentioned, this means that Soren OS deviates from the Ubuntu 2204 base where GNOME Shell 42 is available. However, there are no changes compared to OS 17 where GNOME Shell 43.9 was also offered. I presented the extensive setting options of Soren OS in detail in the test of OS 17. So if you are interested in layout for Windows 11, Mac OS or the other layouts, for example, then I recommend watching my test video of Soren OS 17 after this video. Let's take a quick look at one of the new features of OS 17.1, namely the preview images of the installers. To do is which Soren OS mentioned in the product announcement has indeed been given a nice app icon. Putty, on the other hand, which I used as part of my OS 17 test, is probably not in the database and is therefore labeled as the Windows installers were previously displayed. And by the way, if I click the installer here, and I say install Todoist, then it will forward me to the App Store and there it is offered as a Flatpak container. This is one of the features I mentioned before. Now let's come to the pre-installed apps. We have Linux kernel 6.5. As browser, there's Firefox. As email client, there's GNOME Evolution. As Office package, there's LibreOffice. And as software containers, we have Snap as well as Flatpak. With Soren OS 17, there was some imitation about kernel 6.2 delivered at that time. Now, this is probably being clarified with the provisioning of kernel 6.5 from the Ubuntu HWE stack. With kernel 6.5, Soren OS is once again on a pair with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. The software configuration varies depending on the edition used. The core edition contains pre-installed software that is sufficient for the average desktop user. Additional programs are included in the Pro Edition, but these can also be installed separately later for the Core Edition. It is not difficult and one might wonder whether all the programs in the Pro Edition are really necessary or whether they might be some kind of junk. However, for users who want a comprehensive package, the Pro Edition is ideal. Everyone else can get by with the Core Edition or choose the Pro Edition in a minimal configuration to reduce the amount of software pre-installed. And if you start with the Core Edition, you can upgrade directly to the Pro Edition via Upgrade Tool without reinstalling after paying the fee for the Pro Edition. 
what already gave me some kind of headache with OS 17 also applies here. The package base is largely Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS will be released in a few weeks. Soren OS 17 therefore runs with a package base that is sometimes years old. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you are sensitive on this and this is important to you, you should avoid Soren OS 17 as well as 17.1. Further service packs for OS 17 are likely to follow. Perhaps Soren OS 17.2 will be released in the second half of this year. But that's just my guess. The fact is, further maintenance is expected to come. And thanks to the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS substructure, security updates will come until 2027. So don't worry that if you pay the fee for the Pro Edition now, you will still be able to get security updates through the Ubuntu substructure for at least the next three years. What is my conclusion? The major new features of Soren OS 17.1 are the provisioning of Y9 and the new education version. The remaining features are more or less minor things that are nice to have, but you also can live without them, with the exception of the new kernel, of course. If you are using Soren OS 17 and regularly install updates, you probably already have OS 17.1 running. Otherwise, it will be installed as soon as you run updates. Overall, Soren OS 17.1 offers a variety of optimizations that further enhance the user experience and make it an even more attractive option for users looking for a reliable, user-friendly and secure alternative to Windows or Mac OS in the Linux camp. What are your experiences with Soren OS 17.1? Have any bugs been solved in your workflow? Are you satisfied with OS 17.1? Please write your opinion and impressions in the comments and we can discuss them. Thank you for sticking in the video till the end. Perhaps you are still waiting for an answer to the question of how I like Soren OS 17.1? Well, I test it regularly in a VM. That's how I stay at the ball. However, it is currently out of the question for me as my main distro. I am simply not a target group for Soren OS. The support periods are too variable for me. I don't think the product cycles are optimized. In my opinion, OS 17 should have been based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and released later. In my eyes, Linux Mint or Ubuntu do it better. They have a clear release strategy and can plan accordingly. So that's my thoughts to Soren OS 17.1. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. Have a nice week and see you next time. Peace.